Lucknow and uh, particularly as far as the release of the 11 convicts on remission is concerned. Now, the Supreme Court has called the crime horrendous, quote-unquote, and notice has now been issued to the Gujarat government. Convicts in the Bilkis Banu plea, in fact, uh, Bilkis has challenged the release of the convicts and the Supreme Court is to hold a detailed hearing next on the 18th of April. The Supreme Court had already issued notice in other pleas and it says that it will decide who's the appropriate authority to decide on remission. Supreme Court says it will decide if it is in this case Gujarat or Maharashtra. So far as uh, the query of the court was concerned, First they asked that in which matters notices have been issued, so it was uh, brought to the notice of the Supreme Court that notice is already issued only in one matter, that is Suhasni Ali's matter, against which we have raised a very strong preliminary objection that a uh, writ petition under Article 32 uh, and in a criminal jurisprudence filed by a public activist or a social activist is actually not maintainable. So the court observed orally, though it's not in the order, but the court observed that all the issues will be remain open when the matter would be reheard uh, on 18th of April. And uh, when we have raised the objection about the maintainability, the court did permit us to point out these uh, maintainability pleas before, before it. And everything is open before the court. We have also raised one uh, very vital objection uh, regarding the victims uh, matter also, where we have said that essentially what are they seeking is the review of the Supreme Court order of May 2022 and uh, I had uh, stated before the Supreme Court that uh, as the constitutional bench in Rupa Ashok Hura has already declared that no writ is maintainable against the Supreme Court order. So basically they were acting against the constitutional bench judgment in Rupa Ashok Hura because what, are, what they are essentially seeking is the review of Supreme Court judgment of 9th May 2022 which has stated directly that it would be 1992 policy number one and that policy would be of state of Gujarat and not of state of Maharashtra. Let's go across to Harish for more on this. Uh, Harish, uh, uh, take a few as to what's likely to happen. Any observations that were made by the bench during the course of this very important hearing? Yes, that's right, Madhav. While adjourning the uh, case for a detailed hearing on uh, my April 18, uh, Justice K.M. Joseph described the crime committed by the 11 convicts as horrendous, but at the same time said that it, the court will not be uh, overwhelmed by emotions and it will strictly uh, go by the merits of the case. So, this is a very important uh, step towards securing justice for Bilkis Banu because today the Supreme Court has issued notice on the petition personally filed by her challenging the release of 11 convicts uh, uh, in, uh, who had uh, gang raped her at a time when she was five months pregnant and also killed eight uh, members of her family including her uh, three-year-old daughter. Why the notice in uh, Bilkis Banu's petition is important is because remember uh, the uh, Supreme Court had already issued notice in the other petitions filed by activist Subhashni Ali, uh, National Federation of Women and also TMC MP Mahua Moitra. But the Gujarat government and uh, the, uh, the lawyer for convict had questioned the locus standi, saying that in criminal matters, the third parties have no locus standi, therefore the petition should be dismissed. So the, uh, the entire issue has assumed a different hue. Uh, once uh, Bilkis Banu herself uh, and who has a locus standi in this matter right. has filed a petition and has the Supreme Court has very significantly All right, all eyes on the 18th, uh, Harish, and what transpires on the 18th of next month when that uh, hearing does take place. Thanks so much for joining us with that update. And the Karnataka government's decision to scrap 4% Muslim quota is turning